Many of you have seen the name Bosch on top of hundreds of equipment including power tools. If you ever have the question in mind how this name got into the business massively, this video is for you. Because in today's video, we'll look into the history of Bosch power tools to know how they evaluated themselves and made it to the peak of the mountain. So, without any more delay, let's dive into the video. The story began in 1886, when German engineer and industrialist Robert Bosch founded a company called Robert Bosch Gambia in Stuttgart, Germany. It has a multifunctional engineering and technology company headquartered in Gerlingen. In 1897, Bosch started their innovation through magnetic ignition devices for three-wheeler cars. Gottlob Honnold, who is the chief engineer at Bosch, unveiled a high-voltage magnetic ignition system which led them to become a gigantic automobile supplier because using their ignition system, racing and transporting became more convenient. Hence, they produced 100,000 magneto in 1906, which is a record-breaking number. Besides, they started producing car headlights in 1910, which made them more popular. Soon, they transformed into a corporation in 1917. As Bosch was doing great in automobile equipment from 1926, Bosch started making windshield wipers and injection pumps for diesel, which suddenly, they thought was the point of sticking to the same products forever. This futuristic thought made them avoid the risk and they stepped into the power tool business by manufacturing their first power drill and car radio ever. Meanwhile, they bought the gas appliances production from Junkers & Co. to have more tools and materials to develop other products. In order to do that, Bosch founded two such alternative plants in 1935 and 1937 and gave employment to 5,000 people who were forced laborers, prisoners of war, and female concentration camp prisoners, including many women, from the Warsaw Uprising, which were a tremendous step. Making the starters of German tanks, Bosch also had the biggest position in the outfitting of German Luftwaffe aircraft. As a result, they relocated parts of its production to 213 plants in more than 100 locations for more productivity. Then, when Bosch was in the ocean of prosperity, suddenly the founder Robert Bosch passed away at the age of 80 in 1942. Before passing away, he established his last will and testament in which he stated that the earnings of the company should be allocated to charitable causes. Probably this was the biggest reason he was inducted into the Automotive Hall of Fame in 1984. The next volume of Bosch came along after his death. After the Second World War, Bosch established a partnership with the Japanese company Denso. Keeping their other collaborators satisfied, the Robert Bosch Stiftung was founded in 1964 and the company established a development center in Schreberdingen in 1968. After a decade of continuous progress, the company participated on an equity basis in the Telefon Bau and Normalzeit Gambia that was renamed Telenorma in 1985 and they acquired it completely in 1987. In 1994, this part of the company was renamed as Bosch Telecom Gambia. And until 2000, they rounded up several inventions like oxygen sensor, the electric motor control, the traction control system, Xenon light for cars, electronic stability control, direct fuel injection, and the list goes on. After selling the private networks area in 2000, Bosch acquired the Mansman Rexroth AG in 2001, which they later renamed to Bosch Rexroth AG. One by one, they bought Philips CSI to manufacture security tools like CCTV, and they opened a new testing center in Vaitoden for more research and invented products like radio with disk drive and cordless screwdriver with Liedemann battery. As a result, Bosch was awarded with German Feature Prize from the German president twice in 2005 and 2008. Likewise, Bosch invested about 3.6 billion euro in development and research by publishing approximately 3,900 patents per year, which is unimaginable. Their success rate was so high that they planned to invest in biomedical engineering eventually. Besides making different types of products, Bosch has always focused on power tool innovation since the beginning. Their power tool division is one of the largest suppliers of drills, screwdrivers, and saws. Furthermore, they thought of compact and useful gardening accessories such as hedge trimmers, lawn mowers, and pressure cleaners. 
Back in 1969, they introduced the consumers with their battery-powered head streamer and drill, which will remind you of a 12-volt lead gel car battery in today's view. In the next 5 years, Bosch improved their battery technology and brought in a battery-integrated grass shear. Moreover, the GBH 24V was their first cordless hammer drill, which was manufactured in 1984. As we know, Bosch is so dedicated at upgrading their technology that they implemented the Lidemann battery technology in their IXO cordless screwdriver for the first time ever in 2003. Hence, using the Lidemann battery, the backup and charging time both became convenient in the power tool world like mobile phones, and the batteries could hold charge up to one year which would help users use the tool for emergency purposes like a ready-to-go soldier. Eventually, Bosch expanded its dominance through buying SPX service CEO and took over 100% share of Siemens Hasgerad Gampe and also Zia of Lenx Systeme between 2012 to 2015. As time flows, in January 2020, Bosch packaging technology became Syntagen and in June 2021, Bosch invested $1.2 billion in its newly built semiconductor manufacturing plant of investing that much in a single project ever. For bravery like that, their stompings now made them ahead of their competitors. So that was all about the history of Bosch. We hope now you know how they came into the power tool business and how they operate in over 60 countries worldwide with 64,500 associates in research and development. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and share the video if you found it helpful. And subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.